Hello everyone. Do you know lymphoma is a type of blood cancer which can be cured with chemotherapy? I am Dr. Riaz Ahmed. I am director at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Saket. What is lymphoma? Lymphoma is a type of blood cancer which affects mainly the lymph nodes. There are two types of lymphoma: non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now, both this tumor affects the lymph nodes of from age of 20s it can affect the adult patients it can affect the elderly based on the histological type it is based into non hodgkins lymphoma or hodgkins lymphoma why we differentiate between these two because the treatment modality is different outcome is different of all there are 70 types of lymphoma and as we progress the more are adding to the list so non hodgkins lymphoma again it can be divided into two part one is b non hodgkins lymphoma another is t non hodgkins lymphoma and another is hodgkins lymphoma which mainly affect the uh, adolescent age or in the elderly now in both these hodgkins and non hodgkins lymphoma the good part is this can be cured with some chemoimmunotherapy what are signs and symptoms of lymphoma the most common symptoms of lymphoma are night sweats weight loss and fever Generally, this is present in a patient for more than three months. Ten percent of the body weight loss, high-grade fever, and night sweats present in three months. Other symptoms which can be present in lymphoma patients are itching, abdominal pain, and any other swelling. It can be presented with cervical node swelling or axillary lymph node swelling or inguinal lymph node swelling. Generally, these are non-tender. it can range from 1 cm to 3 to 4 cm it can also be present in any parts of the body on examination when we see these patients we find there is a swelling in this neck area axillary area inguinal area and what we advise is to go for full excision lymph node biopsy how do we diagnose lymphoma either non hodgkins lymphoma or hodgkins lymphoma for diagnosis we need excision biopsy of the lymph nodes whether it is from cervical lymph nodes or inguinal lymph nodes or inguinal lymph nodes sometimes we do ct guided or ultrasound guided biopsies from abdomen or mediastinum this lymph nodes go to the lab and we do histopathology hnd staining and further test like immunohistochemistry what we say ihc panel on these and based on this ihc panel they are differentiated into Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Further, they are classified into B cell type or T cell type. Now, based on this, we come to have a diagnosis like diffuse large B cell lymphoma or follicular lymphoma or Hodgkin's lymphoma or NLPHL. Why this is important? Because signs and symptoms of lymphoma generally mimic tuberculosis, and in a country like ours, tuberculosis is more common than lymphoma. and the patient can be misdiagnosed clinically as tuberculosis and it has severe repercussions also some differentials include like sarcoidosis which needs to be characterized now people ask me whether fnac is adequate or core biopsy is adequate i say no full excision biopsy is preferable and ihc is must to diagnose lymphoma and characterize lymphoma what is the treatment of lymphoma hodgkins or non hodgkins lymphoma before we start treatment we stage the patient of lymphomas by doing whole body pet scan and bone marrow studies they are staged into stage 1 2 3 4 1 first stage have 80% chance of cure stage 4 has 20% chance of cure now the treatment modality can be immunochemotherapy it can be in the form of localized rt surgery is generally not advisable in lymphoma based on which type of lymphoma it is which grade of lymphoma it is which can divide this patient into getting into immunochemotherapy of 4 to 6 cycles followed by maintenance or not few lymphomas like mental cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma will require 6 cycles of induction chemotherapy followed by maintenance therapy of 2 to 3 years in aggressive lymphomas like diffuse large b cell lymphoma high grade b cell lymphoma they require 6 cycles of chemotherapy in non aggressive lymphomas 
or you can say indolent lymphomas sometimes we observe the patient for symptoms whatever the stage may be only when they are symptomatic we offer them treatment in the end i will summarize these lymphomas as a curable disease but it need to be differentiated from more common diseases like tuberculosis diagnosis is by lymph node biopsy and ihc once diagnosis is made properly the treatment can be precise and the outcomes can be better whether the patient need only chemotherapy of 6 cycles or needs chemotherapy followed by maintenance of 2 to 3 years depends on the type of lymphoma the patient has thank you